guys welcome to my channel if you're new here please subscribe below I promise to make your move to Canada easy today I'm gonna talk about seven things I wish I knew before moving to Canada and I really wanted to share it with you number one do your own research I know getting in touch with an agent and consultant is easy in fact I did that too but before you go firstly make sure about their fee structure secondly don't just blindly follow what they're recommending because Few consultants have tie-ups with certain universities and colleges because of which they make loads of commission if you actually get admission in those colleges. So please prevent that by talking to current students from those colleges, checking out their website, find these students through Facebook, look at the college's Facebook groups, look at the kind of activities that they are doing, see if this is what interests you. That's what I did and I think I got really lucky. Number two, get familiarized with the academic system in your college or university since i moved from india i had no idea how to choose my pick and choose my own courses i was always given six courses that i had to do in that one semester but out here i have to pick and choose pick and choose what courses i want how quickly i want to get done with my course and that's why i recommend that you get used to the entire academic structure of your college speaks to students that have done the same course as you few courses won't have lots of coursework and you'll have ample of time to do a part-time job while i know friends from uh, dental school who really couldn't work another job so i think you should find out talk to people and see if you can do a part-time job because if you can't you can at least arrange for that money from home three you've got to be more careful than carefree yay you finally moved to canada and you feel like you've got all the freedom in the world but this isn't your home country and you're not familiar with the immigration rules out here or any rules for that matter living alone comes with a lot of responsibility and you don't want to learn that when something goes wrong or after you move here so i recommend that you stay in tune with the immigration laws out here see what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do for example if you're an international student, you cannot work for more than 20 hours. They will check and they will know and they will send you back. This is something I wish I learned. Learn to save your money. Learn what different accounts are about. Learn to manage your finances because they're, you're not accountable to anybody. At least at home, your parents were probably keeping a check on your finances. But here, your money is yours. And if you splurge, you're not going to have any money. Also... Please learn to cook. I've been here for two and a half years and I still cannot cook. <laughs> so if you have the time, see if you can learn a few dishes from home. Four, oh my God, I find this so important. Make sure you have all your important documents on Google Drive or on iCloud. You never know when something can happen and you can lose all these important documents. I really hope it never does. But you can scan all your original copies or you can keep uh, contacts on your Google Drive or iCloud just in case something happens. Number five, don't let stereotypes get in your way. Few people are just curious. The others are ignorant. So when someone asks you something that is offensive, for example, I get asked, do you know how to speak English? I feel instead of getting all offended, I find it really nice when I can explain and say that lots of people in India do speak English. English is my first language. I've gone to an English school. So this just prevents them from not asking the same question to somebody else. Use that question or this conversation as a conversation starter and break the myth. On your part as well, respecting diversity is important. Canada is a liberal country and often you may see people doing unconventional things. Calm your negative reflexes and understand their culture before being hostile. Number six. This is probably something you, you can do only once you move to Canada, but I just want to put it out there. Don't wait to put your skills to use only after you're done with college or university. Try to see if you can join a place where you can put your skills to use. Try joining clubs, different societies. Try joining meetup groups. And I think this is something you can also research while waiting on your visa or before you can actually move to Canada. Number seven, please study your fee structure properly so that you're not thrown in the dark 
when you're asked to pay for a certain field trip or for books or for equipment. If you can, speak with a current student and check with them if there are any additional costs involved specific to your course. That's all I wanted to talk about today. But since the theme of my channel is talking about things I wish I knew before I moved abroad, I will be elaborating on these points more on different specific videos. I'm going to be talking about the traffic systems out here, how to look for colleges and universities, how to apply for your student visa, how to beat homesickness. Like I promise, I promise I will make a move, or try to make a move much simpler. If you found this video helpful, which I'm pretty sure you have since you stuck around for this long, please like this video. If you have any, any questions, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And please motivate me to help you by clicking that subscribe button. Alright, bye now!